In this exercise, we will demonstrate how to create a PHP hashtag conversion system. It will convert any hashtags found in data strings to clickable links that lead to your dynamic hashtag rendering page. You can also get some great insight into how regular expressions work as we construct a regular expression from scratch to perform the conversion. We've been getting a lot of requests from people who want to add a hashtag system to their social networking sites the way Twitter and Facebook run their hashtag systems. Okay, in my example.php page, I'm just going to have an example string. And this represents string data that you would have in your database that some user typed in in some conversation within your system. You can see that the user has placed pound signs in front of uber silly and mega playful. So it's your job as a programmer to convert those when they're found with a pound sign in front of them you're going to convert that into a link and the link needs to go to a page named something like hashtag.php with dynamic URL variable attached. So next thing we'll do is take that string variable and we're going to run it through a function that we're going to write in just a second. The function can be named convert hashtags open close parentheses semicolon and we're going to send one argument through it which is the string itself. So right here you'll have the resulting converted string and then you can simply echo that to see how it renders now let's go ahead and copy this because we're going to write that function now type in function and then paste that in opening curly brace and closing curly brace now we have a nice function nest we're going to name the variable coming in as a dynamic argument str short for string so you can see when the function is called we're passing the original string variable through that function as an argument. It can be scooped up right here as the variable str. Now this function essentially only needs two lines of code to do the magic it needs to do. But we're going to have three lines because I want to explain the regular expression in depth. And I'm going to build it piece by piece as we need logic. Because regular expression programming is something that's not taught very well by many instructors. Uh, it's just hard to wrap your head around so usually when you see regular expressions they're just fully written and nobody's explaining how and why they work the way they do so I'm gonna try and do that in this lesson I'm gonna make sure that we go nice and slow and explain everything in depth while creating this regular expression that way you'll be better equipped when you're making regular expressions in the future so in between this set of double quotes what we're gonna do is put two forward slashes and in between the forward slash is where we put all the pattern matching that we want to occur within the regular expression so I'm gonna put the pound sign at first and if I wanted to match for say the star symbol I would just put that there or if I want to match for the letter F I would just put that there but I want to match for the pound symbol because we're building a hashtag conversion system okay so right now we're just going to leave our regular expression just like that but there's a lot more logic that we're going to have to apply to get things to convert right now on the very next line we're going to take the string variable and we're going to run it through the preg replace function which is a PHP built-in function that allows you to replace things in strings according to a regular expression so we'll put three parameters the first parameter is going to be our regular expression the second parameter is going to be the string that we want to replace any matches with. And we'll just go ahead and make that a link, an A element. And then the last parameter is the string. So here we're going to put a href is equal to a page that we're about to create in a minute called hashtag.php. And we want to make sure that we're sending URL variable over to hashtag.php. So we'll put the question mark and the URL variable will be named tag. And its value is going to be dollar sign zero. And you put dollar sign zero here. Because when you're building regular expressions, you get a resulting array out of the matching sequence. So the way I have this one set up is we're only going to have one array element in the matching sequence so we can just put zero here and all it's matching for is the pound sign so what's going to happen is anywhere in the string where the pound sign is found it's going to make that a link to hashtag I'm going to make sure we put a T there hashtag.php with the proper URL variables then the very last line all we have to do is return the data to the calling line 
that call this function to run right here. So let's just return the string, the converted string. That way this variable will be the converted string. Okay? Now when we run that on our PHP enabled server, you can see we get a link. But it's only the pound sign that is made into a link. And you can see if I was to copy that link address and then just paste it in down here, you'll see that our URL variable is just the pound sign. And ultimately we want our URL variable to be just these words and not the pound sign. All right, so let's get rid of this. So we have to add a little bit more logic to our regular expression. So to allow more pattern matching, we can put the plus sign here and we want to get more characters that are after the pound sign too until it reaches a space. So what we'll do is put in the square brackets and in between square brackets, we'll type in A through Z, uppercase A through Z, and then zero through nine. And then we can put in an underscore as well if you want to allow underscores in your hashtags. You can put any symbols here that you want to allow. So now let's save that and run this on our PHP enabled server. Let's refresh the little application. And now you see we get the first letter of the hashtag also made into part of the link. But we want to get the whole word as the link. And that's very simple to do. All you have to do is if you want to extend the matching is put a plus sign right here. And that lets the regular expression know that you want to continue pattern matching until you reach a character that's not any of these. So when our string hits a space, that, that means our pattern matching is stopped. And it goes on to the next match. So now that we put the plus sign after our bracket, let's save this file and run it on our PHP enabled server. So now as you can see, we get the whole word as a link. Now if I copy that link address, let's take a look at what the resulting link address looks like. Now we have everything we want, except I don't want the pound sign in the URL variables going to hashtag.php. I just want the word. I don't want the pound sign or any other strange characters being passed over the URL address bar. But I do want it to render here in the visible view of the link, the link label. I want the pound sign to be there, but I don't want it to be here. And that is rendered right up here. So I want the pound sign to be here, but not here. Now what we can do is go into our regular expression and start grouping things. I'm going to put parentheses around my little sequence after the pound sign. So what that does, now that I put parentheses around that, that makes my regular expression pattern matching result in an array with two elements. So the first element in the resulting array is going to be the zero and that's going to have the pound sign and the whole word. The second array element is going to be one, and that's only going to have the word and not the pound sign. So you just change that to a one, this to a zero, and make sure you group this pattern matching sequence in between parentheses. Now let's save that. Now if we refresh our program, we take a look at the link. Now we have exactly what we want. Let's copy that link address, and let's pop it in right here and inspect it. So now I'm sending to a page called hashtag.php with a URL variable of just the word ubersilly. Now all we have to do is show you hashtag.php because that's going to be the page that you're going to use to query your database and get all the conversations that might have that hashtag in it. So create a new PHP document called hashtag.php and inside of it we're going to place this code. And this code is saying if the get URL variable named tag is set, then we're going to execute this code right here. If it's not set, nothing will render or nothing will happen. So the first thing we do inside of the if condition is we sanitize the incoming get URL variable named tag because you're going to use that to query your database and search for things. And if you don't sanitize it, somebody can hack your system. So running this line here, allows you to remove everything but underscores, letters, and numbers, uppercase and lowercase letters. So you get uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and underscores is the only thing that will remain in that string. Everything else will be stripped out. That will make it ready for your database query. 
it's safe and sanitized at that point. So all I'm doing here is echoing out the resulting variable so you can see that it all works just fine. Now I'm not going to build database queries here for you, show you how to search or anything like that because we've done all of those tutorials before. Develop PHP, we have search tutorials that show you how to use like syntax. You use the like syntax in your query to search through all the conversations within your system that might have that exact hashtag. And since we removed the pound sign, all you have to do is add a little string of pound sign onto the tag word. And this will result in the tag word with the pound sign on it. So you can make that into maybe a variable called full tag is equal to that. Okay, now let's test everything. Now if I click uber silly, I should be sent to hashtag.php. And now I get the full hashtag uber silly. Because I put the pound sign back on right here. Now you would use this full tag variable to search your database. Because you want to make sure you have the pound sign in front of the word before you do your searching. That way you just don't find every occurrence of that word. You want to find every occurrence of that word only if it has the pound sign in front of it. So you use this full tag variable in your MySQL query. And it's as simple as that. Now I'm going to take you to develop PHP and show you the search exercises. If you click PHP and MySQL videos, right here in the list you can go to MySQL PHP search exercises and we show a bunch of different ways to search a MySQL database for whatever you need to search for. You can use like syntax or you can use the match against syntax only if you have a full text search happening on a specialized database. In most cases you would just use the like syntax to search for things. So what that'll do is give you an idea of what kind of query and code you can have here in hashtag.php that will search your whole database, find all the conversations that might have that particular hashtag in it, and pour them out onto the page so people can click on them and whatever. Just like Twitter and Facebook do. Now I hope I didn't bore you guys with going so in-depth into constructing this regular expression here. But you can see we started at just the pound sign, and that's all we were matching for, and that's all that we were getting as a result. And then we were just able to simply add more logic into our regular expression to achieve the exact result that we wanted. And remember, when you group things with the parentheses like this, that means you're going to make more array elements in the resulting match. So you can use numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, however many array elements are in the resulting match. Remember at first we only could access the zero because we were only matching for the pound sign so all we were going to get is one element in the resulting array. Right when I added the parentheses around this that gave us two elements in the array so then I can use a one. Okay so I hope this example hashtagging system proves helpful to you guys. You can set it up for your social networks. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, click on the subscribe button to tune into Adam's channel. He produces new videos on a regular basis. Below the subscribe button are a few more of his video tutorials that other viewers have found to be helpful or inspiring. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.